occasions when meteorites fall from the sky, we tend to take notice, but the only recorded incident of a meteorite actually hitting someone happened in Sylacauga 60 years ago when Ann Hodges was struck while laying on her couch. Today on the University of Alabama campus, Smith Hall commemorated that historic incident, but as WVUA's Drew Maddox shows us, that's not the only thing that made Science Sunday memorable. Sunday, the Alabama Museum of Natural History hosted Science Sunday at Smith Hall, where Dr. John Hall, a man who has spent a fair share of time researching the meteorite, gave a presentation on Ann Hodge's story and the events that changed her life. This meteorite that once grabbed the entire nation's attention now resides in the museum. But the chemistry and biology department also brought unique experiences to the table, including live animals and even turning pennies gold. We've been showing some animals from our research lab. Uh, we study the digestive physiology of reptiles and amphibians. So uh, we've been have some things about the information of uh, evolution of amphibians and reptiles. It's been an excellent opportunity to be able to come here to Smith Hall and, and get with kids and get them interested in chemistry. As a personal philosophy, I feel that getting kids will, by proxy, get their parents interested in the sciences. And from there, we can have uh, overall a more scientifically literate um, population. Organizers say Science Sunday is a great way to get hands-on with aspects of science we may not usually be able to see. For more information, visit the Science Sunday Alabama Paleontology Facebook page. With WVUA, I'm Drew Maddox.